All right, so I was doing some trading the other day, and wasn't for this, but the guy ended up having this ripper, so I made him an offer and bought that. So I think that'll be really handy for digging out stumps. But this is a Bobcat brand ripper, and I need it to fit the Wayne Roy style, like this bucket. So I need the top of this to look like that. So let's get to work on this. Right, the game plan here is I need to cut these ears off, cut a hole out here, a hole in the front, and then cut this off, and then figure it out from there. I don't know what I've done with my striker, so we're going to have to improvise. Well, it don't look like much, but we made a lot of progress. We got this all cut out and opened up. So now what I'm missing, I thought I had some scrap where I could make a piece for the front of this. Like this pipe here, but I don't, the pipe I have is too thin. So I don't know how thick this is. I'm assuming schedule 40 or schedule 80. So I'm going to go around. My local machine shop lets me go through their dumpster. So maybe they'll have a piece of something I can use. If not all. I'll find some somewhere. So I gotta make that. I gotta make one of these for that back pin. I don't know, but I'll at least want to get the pipe put in so I can make sure everything's right and then we'll set that. Yeah, this should work good. I needed a 10 and a quarter. Yeah, 10 and 3 eighths. So got plenty of room there. Yeah, so we'll pick back up when I get some supplies to finish this up. Okay, ended up finding me a scrap piece of pipe. This is quarter inch wall. I hope it's strong enough for this, but it's all I could find. I was hoping to find something thicker, but it didn't happen, so. I'm gonna put that right like that.
think that's good enough. It won't fall off. I want to test hook the quick connect up under it and see how everything looks. I'll tell you what, for somebody who don't know what they're doing, that looks pretty good. What's that hitting on? It's hitting something. Oh, is it them pieces hitting down there? Yeah. Dang it, I am going to have to grind them little pieces back. I was hoping I had that down enough. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll work good. Well, let's see how we did. It's right there. Let's give her a little tap. A snug fit. I guarantee once I use a little bit that'll come in and out easy. Here is the finished product. So I'm pretty happy with that. That actually a little bit of paint kind of look factory on there. I still gotta add the little piece of metal in there. But other than that I added this gusset in here. Keep that and then this piece and this piece because as you dig it pushes up like that and yeah pretty much all this was done with just extra scrap this piece back here came in that uh, parts service truck I bought so use that I think that'll be plenty strong yeah, so far I'll, I like it I'm gonna run a few more passes I just run one stringer bead down the bottom of this. I'm going to run a few more and build that up. And then it's done. Okay, I was going to paint this yesterday, but I didn't get around to it. 
So actually, let's go try this thing out first before we paint it. That way if we gotta do some more welding, we don't have to grind off paint. Let's go do that. All right, we're gonna start out with this little guy. It's, I don't know, about as big around as my hand. And there's another little, that one's maple. I don't know what that is. There's two of them together. So we'll just try on some of these. See, this should hopefully be a lot faster than with the bucket.
Okay, that's way, that's a million times easier and faster than using the bucket. So I got these two right here. This one, it's pretty good size. Okay, well, we got, we got a bunch of these out, and really, it didn't take very long with this. So, I really like this. I've never dug stumps out with a ripper, but that's definitely the way to go when you have a smaller machine. Definitely. I'm sure it's probably a lot easier on the machine, too, and not putting all that strain on a bucket, so. It's gonna like it. Here's... Here's this one. I believe this one's an oak. This one fought me the most. It was the last one coming out there, but but it still got it. I mean, it wasn't bad. So I really like it. Nothing broke. This thing's tight. I was gonna shim, put some metal flat shims in there like that other one has, but I don't really think it needs it. It's not loose or anything. And I wasn't being gentle with it. That's awesome. Well, I guess we can go slap some paint on it. But I'm also trying to decide. There's a part of me that wants to bring some metal out here in kind of like a V. Or whatever thickness that is. Inch, inch and a quarter. But bring that out kind of a V. Because that would be really nice when you're pushing over trees to rip the roots around it. Then put that knuckle against it essentially and push a tree over so I might see about adding that but I mean when painted that ain't no big deal to ground off and add that yeah so let's go take this thing off paint up make it look uh, finished let's see if this comes out oh yeah look at that I told you once it got a little way ahead come right out I just washed this off the water hose. Now we need to dry it off so we can paint it. Here's what I'm using. This is the only color I have. I wanted black. should stick pretty good.
Oh, there it is all painted. As you can see, I stopped right there. There's no point to paint the rest of that. That'll just wear off instantly. Yeah, I like it. This looks almost professional. So just being made out of some scrap metal, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm glad I looked out finding this. I ended up, I paid 400 bucks for it. And then the rest of that was just scrap metal and some electricity and some welding rods I bought and some grinding wheels and probably eight, eight hours of time in it. And now I've got a nice root ripper. So this exact model, I think brand new is like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars Here, here was the tag I cut off of it. There's a number there made by Bobcat. So it should, should be a pretty high quality attachment, I would say. And now I got it adapted to fit mine. Yeah. So I hope I get a lot of use out of this. And should make my life a lot easier. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. And we'll see you all next one. Have a good day.